What's up everybody, it's Patrick McDonald. Today I'm gonna to show you how I extract audio from video and use Otter AI to transcribe it. So real quick, yesterday I sent out a tweet that said, hello governments and news agencies. If I see a video about coronavirus that's not captioned, I'm going to extract the audio, use Otter AI to quickly transcribe it and post it as a comment for your hearing impaired residents. Your friend, Patrick, caption your shit, McDonald. The reason I'm doing this is because there's a lot of information that's going out about COVID-19 coronavirus. And I've seen comments from the hearing impaired community that is saying, can somebody please give me a summary? Can somebody please tell me what's going on in this video? And so as local governments and news agencies, I think it's uh, our duty to be able to make sure that that information is accessible to everyone. So I started transcribing things, um, transcribing, the audio for people and I'm going to show you how I did that. It was prompted by the one and only Kirsten Wyatt who summoned me. She's like, hey, if you have a sec, would you be able, willing to write up instructions on how to best use available free tech to do this so we can post on ELGL as a local government resource? To which I said, I'll send you a video tutorial tomorrow. And speaking of video tutorials, I'm using a program called Loom. It's free. It's basically just a plugin for Google, or you can do a desktop version. It's this thing right here. Go check it out. Really good for tutorials, like the one I'm doing right now. So let's get into it. The software is called Otter. This is what it looks like. When you get to the home screen, it's free. It's free for up to 600 minutes which is good so you can start testing it out. Um, it is, I'm using the premium version. It's up to 6,000 minutes. So you can go and look at all the features on your own, but I just wanted to give you a quick understanding of the options. And I'm gonna take you into mine. So here's what the home screen looks like. There's a little bit of behind the scenes. I have nothing to hide. <laughs> um, but the thing I like about Otter is that you can record directly from your computer or you can import audio, right? So just to give you a sample of what the recording looks like, it's recording it in real time, as you can see. Hit stop. Go into my conversations. So it's processing the note. And let's do a quick playback. Just to give you a sample of what the recording looks like, it's recording it in real time, as you can see. I mean, that's awesome, right? It's it's basically perfect. You can go in and edit things. Let's get to the real meat potatoes. Let's talk about how I'm using it for extracting audio for updates on Corona. So yesterday, this video came out um, for the Dallas Morning News, Dr. Philip Wong. Yeah, updates council and update, does daily updates and you know just at the time I don't think it was closed caption which is what prompted this so what I do is what I usually do is I'll take the video and turn it into an mp3 so it's kind of a hack that I figured out I'm just gonna literally google search YouTube to mp3 and select the first option it's got this, uh, this box that I just have to drop the URL in. So let's go grab it. I like to, to get the URL from here just because it's cleaner for me, just a preference. I went to the share option and grab the URL from there. I'm gonna drop it into the box, hit convert. So just real quick, I know some of you are thinking like you're stealing the audio you're, you know, it's probably illegal, blah, blah, blah. For me, I'm just repurposing it. If people want me to take this stuff down, then I'll take it down. But for now, I am, I'm trying to make things more accessible for people who need it. <laughs> that's my, that's my main purpose. But, um, so we can argue the ethics of it later. The, there's apps that are, 
allow you to do this kind of thing. So I'm just using them to hack this stuff together. All right, so now I have the audio. I'm gonna go back into Otter. I'm gonna hit import audio video. I'm gonna drag and drop the MP3 into the box. It's uploading. Great, and we're done. So right now it's processing. Let's go get another file, a different format. Not everything's gonna be YouTube. So sometimes things are gonna be on Twitter, right? So here's an example. Hey everyone, it's uh, Mayor Robert Garcia and- Of a Twitter video um, that I thought, hey, this would be good to caption, or this would be good to transcribe. I know this has been uh, a really, really tough time uh, for so many- All right. So, Mayor Garcia, shout out. I used to work in Long Beach, got to meet him. Pretty cool guy, doing some good things. He, let's see here. All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna go Twitter, um, video download. I'm gonna select, it doesn't matter which one, and there's this in here, get the URL. I'm gonna drop it in, hit download. So for me, it doesn't matter what the video quality is. I'm just concerned with the audio. So I'm gonna select the smallest video. Hey everyone, it's uh, me. It opens it up in the browser. I'm gonna click on the hamburger button and hit download. Hamburger menu, rather. It's a, these three dots, these three ellipses. Great, so now I have the file. It's an MP4, which is fine. Otter takes video as well. Again, I'm gonna go through the sequence, import audio video, drag and drop. It's gonna upload and it's gonna start processing it. So just a little bit of background on this. This is a hack that I started doing because I just got tired of listening to podcasts. Like I don't have an hour or 30 minutes to listen to them. So what I would do is just grab the audio, drop it into Otter and skim through the podcast and then like highlight things that I wanted to listen to later. So that's how this all came about and I'm just repurposing it now for news and information that's vital in this um, coronavirus time. So sometimes your personal hacks turn into something useful, right? Great. So as you can see, the audio has been captured pretty well, right? So you just have to go in and clean it up a little bit. One of the updates, certainly, uh, we just, uh, this morning, uh, daily are releasing the number of new cases that are identified. Uh, we reported 11 new. I mean, it's almost 95, 100% accurate. The accuracy for me depends on the quality of the audio. So the better the audio, the cleaner it is, the, the more accurate you're going to get. So what I would do is just come in and hit the edit button. Oh. A total to about 20. I'm gonna hit refresh real quick. It says it was out of date for some reason. Okay. Um, so, I don't know if you noticed this, but it's tagged. Dr. Wong is already tagged because I have already gone through and transcribed this before and I assigned a tag to this audio. What Otter does is it has an AI, so it'll map, it'll learn the tone of the person who's speaking. Learn that audio and it'll be able to reference it to any audio that you do from for the rest of existence, I guess, which is great. Male in his 70s. So that means that you don't have to tag uh, who's speaking anymore. So what I would do is go in and, and just edit this because a big block of text is kind of overwhelming for me. So I'd find like clean breaks and just hit return. Um, you know, when the new topic sentences, uh, when there's a new topic sentence, rather, just real quick, um, showing how you can edit this stuff, I would maybe go in and change like that to D, or lowercase D, put a period. That's really an important development. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna let you mess with that, but there's a lot, the editing capability is really easy. You get a bunch of keywords here, all right, let me hit done real quick. So now it's saving um, those edits that I just made. What I like about Otter 2 is it gives you a summary of the keywords in 
the transcript so you can click on symptoms and it shows you everywhere in the document where symptoms are it even shows it on the timeline you can click on state health department these are just a couple of examples of what you can do you can also highlight things right update certainly uh, we just uh, this morning Sorry, hit pause identified uh, we report let me refresh this real quick Sometimes when it's processing, it doesn't allow you to use all the tools, but I want to show you that you can highlight things. Three of the patients were hospitalized, including. I think that's important. It's an example of something I would highlight because I thought it was important. Maybe highlight something else. Well, that here. definition, they're saying if three days. Again, showing you examples of what you can do with the software. And then what it does is it captures your highlights so you have a quick reference of them. Super awesome. Great. Let's go back and check on the Twitter video that's been transcribed. Mayor Garcia, again, I've already run this audio through Otter, so it, it's tagging them automatically. If you click on that, you can untag. Let's see if I untag it. Then it just gives you a generic speaker, but let's say I want to tag it. Great, tagged it. Okay, and then you can go in and edit it the same way we did with the last one, right? So like, I would start here, just hit backspace. Done. Great. So once you're done, you just go to this um, person plus icon, create a link, and then you can share that audio. So I copied that link, I'm gonna open up a new tab. Show you what it looks like. Anybody that has this link can reference your file. They cannot edit it but they can see what has been transcribed and shareable through a bunch of different platforms. Hey everyone, it's uh, Mayor Robert Garcia. So yeah, there's a timeline of the audio. It's- Hey everyone, it's uh, Mayor Robert Garcia and I know this has been- Yeah. When it's, when it's completely processed, it'll walk you through each word that's being talked through. So let me just show you an example of, of a finished version of this. So back to Twitter. I dropped a link that I created yesterday, which says transcription for hearing impaired. Um, the link embeds in Twitter itself, which is great. So it doesn't kick you out to another tab or another window. And then you can play it. Hey everyone, it's uh, Mayor Robert Garcia. And I know this has been uh, a really, really tough time uh, for so many families. Right. Hey everyone, it's uh, Mayor Robert Garcia, and I know this is... There you go. That's how you do it. And just as an example of what I did for this video, I just <laughs> added a link here in the comments for the Twitter video. So they have that transcript as well. All right, that's your tutorial for today. That's how I extract audio from videos, from YouTube and Twitter in particular in this example, and create some transcripts in Otter. If you have any questions, hit me up. It's a free software tool. I would um, tell you to go explore it and see what else you can do. If you have any ideas or new ways to, to use it or can think of any questions or have any comments, please hit me up. My my handle is Patrick M 2 L. I'm always talking about things, cities. I'm always talking about ways to hack government. That's just what I do, man. So hope you enjoyed and I'll see you around for the next one.